Scott, it's been an active night of weather. We've had storms with damaging wind, large hail and heavy rain. Check out this video. The rain really coming down this evening, reducing visibility. We ended up with a handful of flooding reports, a handful of wind damage reports. The other storm reports, several dozen uh, for the most part surrounding large hail. We did just recently have nickel size hail reported in the Bloomington area, and it's the southern part of our area that remains under the severe thunderstorm watch until midnight. Locally, no warnings, but we continue to watch very closely this area of slow moving heavy rain and thunderstorm activity. It's just south of Bloomington over Lake Monroe. This is drifting very slowly to the south toward the Bedford area, so we'll continue to move across portions of Lawrence, Jackson and Jennings counties. As we extend this line off to the east, you can see the heavy rain that continues to fall near Seymour south to Carothersville. It's lighted, lightened up a bit around North Vernon, but we'll continue to watch this area for any potential additional warnings. Right now, no warnings, just that severe thunderstorm watch for a few of our southern counties until midnight. Future Track 13 does show the storms lightening up a bit and starting to exit the state over the next couple of hours. Other weather issue today was the smoke and the haze. Made it to 83 this afternoon after a morning low of 65. Officially at the airport in Indianapolis ended up with seven tenths of an inch of rain, but we hit several locations with an inch or two and we're still going to be concerned with that area, southern Monroe County, south to about the Bedford area. Right now over downtown Indianapolis, we have partly cloudy skies, 65 degrees. Dew point temperatures down just a bit. Not only was it smoky, but it was muggy today. And oh, that muggy meter really ramps up Wednesday and Thursday this week. It's going to be hazy, hot and humid. Smoke will be an issue again tomorrow afternoon with highs in the low to mid 80s. And we'll have to watch closely the southwestern part of the state may see some additional storm development tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening in areas south and southwest of Indianapolis, and that's where we find the threat of severe weather. It's a low threat, but again, something we'll keep a close eye on as we head into Tuesday afternoon. Weather pattern overall stays active through Thursday. Thursday will be the hottest day with highs near 90, hot and humid with some storms around. That storm chance mainly southwest tomorrow. Chance around Wednesday, Thursday will continue to keep you updated. Then we get a break from the storms, the high heat and humidity. That muggy meter drops low 80s with sunshine Friday, Saturday.